in 2015, they stopped printing the newspaper and focused on the website. And then I came here the next year and I helped launch the whole brand new website. Then we exploded in terms of traffic. So it was those three things, it's uh, social media, uh, our SEO, SEO, and then the content itself, making it more appealing with the headlines, with our uh, catchy images. Images are a big thing. And then the content itself, try to make it uh, appealing, interesting, and straight to the point. There's always things that we want to improve and get better at. Uh, I mean, of course, that we want to we want to keep increasing our our traffic. We want to keep going up, and uh, that's been very difficult. That's the biggest challenge, really. Challenge. The challenge is the competition. There's just so much competition because, of course, there's the local competition. Internationally, of course, we're competing around the world too for for readership. There's an, there's an easy answer. And we have Stinzy person putting it together. They craft it in terms of language and then uh, visually make changes to the content to make it a little more catchy. And then I sometimes also think of content. Hey, let's do this. Let's do that. Well, my, my first tip is to make sure you get internships before you graduate, if you can. Yeah, maybe you could, uh, maybe you could intern at Taiwan News. <laughs> I don't know. Are you okay? Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's possible. And you can just let me know if you guys want to in intern with us. <laughs> Best advice I can give you is just to get the experience as soon as you can. And the other suggestion would be if you want to, which, what, which of those areas you want to do more of an audio thing you want to do, or you want to do more of a video thing, you want to do more of a writing thing. And so you start doing it already whenever you can to get the experience, the practice, and exposure. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>